Kelly D and today I'm going to share with you a recipe where we're going to change a savory ingredient into something sweet. We're going to be making candied sweet potatoes from, as the name suggests, the sweet potato. Now there are many varieties of a sweet potato. Here in the Caribbean you will find one that looks like this. It's brown, of course it still has the mud on it, which is good. And if you cut it, the inside is a bright orange. Some persons call it a carrot sweet potato. Or you may find one that has a purple skin and when you cut it, it's white on the inside. Now, as you can see, potatoes come in all shapes and sizes, but no matter what shape or what size, they're very nutritious and it's gonna taste delicious. So if you're a diabetic or you're looking to lose weight, you can still use this recipe. Just tweak the measurements a bit. So we're gonna go over the ingredients now to make this dish. We have two medium sized sweet potatoes. Now I would have peeled it, even though you can use it with the skin on, I removed all the skin for this recipe and I would cut it into some small cubes so it can cook as evenly as possible. So two medium sized sweet potatoes, six tablespoons of softened butter, half cup of sugar, and to further sweeten this amazing recipe, we have half teaspoon of cinnamon and half teaspoon of nutmeg. We have half tablespoon of vanilla extract and one tablespoon of molasses. Ready? Our first step is to put some water on to boil. Add just a little bit of sugar, like a teaspoon. And then we'll allow the potatoes to parboil. As long as it starts to boil, then we're going to turn the stove off because we don't want to cook them completely. We just want them to soften a bit and the sugar in the water will permeate the entire potato. Our potatoes are ready. You can see they're boiling and it has been about five or six minutes. So we're going to turn it off. We're going to throw the potatoes into the colander. We're going to strain it. Then we're going to put the set aside the potatoes to cool. The first step is over. We have our potatoes already parboiled, so we're going to set them aside. Now we're going to get ready to make this amazing sauce. This is what is going to be the game changer for our candied sweet potatoes. So we're going to go ahead and preheat the oven to 250 degrees at this time as we start to make the sauce to pour over our sweet potatoes. Now our butter is already soft, but we're going to melt it completely. We're going to melt all of the butter, then we'll add the sugar. Now, if you have children and for some reason they don't like eating the vegetables, I can guarantee you they are going to love this dish. You just have to tell a child candy and you're going to get their attention. So just tell them candied sweet potatoes and I guarantee you they are all in. So we'll continue to melt our butter. Butter always makes everything better. And like I said, if you're trying to lose weight or you're diabetic, you just need to tweak the ingredients a bit. So once we have our butter in, add the sugar, we're gonna stir continuously. We don't want anything to burn, so we're gonna continue stirring and stirring until you get a nice simmer. Now we're gonna add all of our other ingredients. Make sure your stove is on a low heat. We don't want it to be too high. So we're gonna add our nutmeg and our cinnamon. This smells so amazing. We're gonna add our vanilla extract. And we're gonna add our molasses and continue to stir. And as I mentioned, you're gonna adjust the season. If you have a special need, you're gonna remove some of the sugar, but maintain the amount of cinnamon and nutmeg. We're just gonna cut back on the sugar. If you have special needs, if you're diabetic or losing weight, cut back on the sugar. But everything else you need to keep. Now we're going to add our molasses. Now molasses comes from the cane sugar, and this is really healthy. Black, rich goodness. And once we have all of our molasses here, we want to get every bit of it. Once we have that all in, we're continue, we'll continue to stir. We're gonna pour this amazing sauce over our candy sweet potatoes, and I am telling you, if you have guests at your home, this is one dish that they will be asking you for again and again. You'll keep stirring for about five to seven minutes, low heat, then we're gonna get ready to pour. 
Now it's time to pour. Just give it one last quick stir to make sure everything is totally combined. Then we're gonna pour it over our candied potatoes. are ready for the oven so I'm gonna make sure I turn all of them so that they are completely filled every last potato with this amazing sauce then we're gonna cover it with some foil because we don't want them to dry out and then we'll bake it for about 30 minutes <music> these sweet potatoes are done they smell so good not only children will love these, everyone will love these. It's time to taste. This is a perfect side dish for your special occasions or just, just because. Candied sweet potatoes. Mmm, mmm, good. They're so rustic. You can also get a lovely candy sweet potatoes from the white potatoes, but I prefer to use the carrot potatoes. You may choose to slice your potatoes or you can put them in cubes like I did, but I chose to put them in cubes because you have so many different sizes of the potatoes. It's hard to have nice, perfect slices, but you can get close to perfect cubes with all the different shapes. Smells really good. Mmm. That bite was so delicious. The potato was nice and soft and completely covered with the syrupy sauce. Really good. When you're having your parties, special events, dinners or luncheons, you have to try this dish. Candy sweet potatoes? Now you need to try it. Now if you enjoyed this sweet potato recipe, I'm gonna encourage you to look over here, see my other potato recipes and once you've watched them all, just click the button below, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And remember to send me a comment and like this video. I love hearing from you.